we have about total about 720 somewhere around there between the university and here. Um, that number was about nine o'clock this morning. There's still a few evacuees arriving today as we speak uh, from different communities because some people will be driving on their own, some key people come on buses. Uh, just depends on how they were able to get here. There's still another maybe 1,700 to find room in both Saskatoon and Regina. So we'll try to figure out uh, between those two in the next couple of hours where we'll house them. As you can see, there's probably a lot of uh, babies and children and moms here and that's because dads and men are left to firefight in most cases. Uh, if a community is uh, able to evacuate those folks, um, then those are the first ones that will come out. And so that's why we would see more children and moms in, in a center like this. Lots of smoking, thick smoking. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we brought in about over 60 of us. I drove a van, one van, and there's two of my buddies there. Got a bus, two buses, and so it was a long trip. And I've never seen anything like this before. By the way, I go in there, you, know, you can see the fire yeah. just by the road, and you're driving by. On both sides? Yeah. The highway? We went to Saskatoon for a little while, and eight, and okay. told us to come over here. Yeah. Um, it's just too packed. Over there. Yeah, it's well, Prince Albert and Saskatoon were small. We just drove by.